got to take them in. Don't give up, please. Hey, I was looking all over for you. Hey. Oh, you okay? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry. What, what about your cramps? They're gone. They're gone. I must have just squeaked something from the surgery. Nothing to worry about, I think. Spinelli was just overreacting a little bit. I guess you heard about the hostage crisis. Yeah. And you came here to rescue me. I love that about you. Look, Nicholas and I, we were stuck together in lockdown, and they gave us the green light to go, but he wanted to come up here and check on Lucky's wife, and she seems to be in stable condition, waiting for us to see if there's any complications or anything. What's, what's going on? Maxie uh, was one of the hostages. Lisa pulled a gun and forced Maxie and Patrick and Robin and Dr. Webber into the one of the conference rooms. Is she okay? No, she's fine. It, it's, uh, it's Spinelli. He was climbing through one of the air vents to save Maxie, and he fell out, and Lisa shot him in the chest. And he was bleeding for a long time before we could actually get him out of there, and now he's in surgery. And it's not, it's not looking good. He was only here because of me. Bring him here after the surgery. It won't be too much longer. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Jason, I'm just really sad and I'm, and I'm worried and I am really pissed off at myself right now because I was here at the hospital and I could have done something to help him. What do you mean? You could have done it. You didn't know what was even going on. What do you mean? I could have figured out why the alarm went off and why everyone was being evacuated and I didn't and I could have helped yeah, and I didn't. The cops didn't even know what was going on until Lucky called it in. I was there with Dante and Mac when they got all the details. Wait a minute, so you, you came here with the cops? They just let you roll with them? Well, you know, I have to give some credit to Dante because he argued for me to come in case he might have to end it quickly. Wow. Wow, I mean, that's that's good for, for Dante. It's nice to hear that he has got his priorities straight because in a situation like this, it's about the hostages and not who works for who. Yeah, I just wish we would have gotten up there sooner. Gotta be honest. Do you need anything? No. Okay. The cramps weren't even that bad, Jason. Spinelli just wanted to make sure I was okay. Like usual. He wants us to have a baby so bad he has convinced himself that I am pregnant. Wait, did you, did you get the test results? No. No, and I wouldn't be surprised if it got lost in the chaos of everything that's going on. I'm not even worried about that though, Jason, I'm not. I'm just, I'm worried about Spinelli. He's been a really good friend to us. I mean, you're right. I remember when I first met him, you know, I thought he was this weird, annoying kid. <laughs> he was. And good thing we figured out that he was a computer genius or he could have went down the wrong road really easy. I mean, in the easy. beginning, I could barely understand what, what, what that guy what said. What do you mean in the beginning? I still can't understand, but I think we've got accustomed to his lingo. Right, Stone Cold? You've been really good to him. You've been patient and loving, even when he is way over the top. He's a, he's a true friend. He's proven himself. I don't, I don't know what I would do without him. Hey, uh, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to thank you for saving the hostages. I'm just glad everybody's okay. I hope, I hope Spinelli is too. He'll be okay. Matt and Steve are with him right now. He's in very good hands. So, um, Believe it or not, with all the madness today, we were still able to process your test results. Wow. Yeah. Um, you know, why don't, why don't you just um, tell me, why don't you just tell me what the results are? Okay. Um, you were right, you're not pregnant. That's what I thought. 
I mean, that's... Thank you. Thank you for finding me and delivering this news. I really, I really appreciate that. Thank you. No problem. <sighs> okay, I will let you know if I hear anything about Spinelli. Okay. wouldn't believe how brave he was. It's like he fell from the sky right about the time Lisa was gonna shoot me. He was like a hero from one of those old detective movies. <laughs> to do places to be, so, uh, breeze off, would you? Hold on a second. You saved me. That has to mean something. Spinelli. You are the bravest man that I know. Jason's got nothing on you. No offense. None taken. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna go and give them their privacy. Maxie, if you need anything, call me. Okay? Of course. <laughs> 